first of all, on the road to the ICJ, COLA completely denounces any notion that we are on our way, unless the government has signed some secret agreement pushing us forward without our knowledge. Then if that was to happen, and that is why we are requesting and demanding clarity and, ex and further ex explanation from the minister, because it leaves a vacuum now for us to believe that one went and signed the compromise behind our backs. We were not a part of that conversation. And then now you're telling us we are on our way to the ICJ. That is ridiculous. And I can't even fathom it other than to describe it as a sellout, if that is the case. Um, when, you, when we look at the actions of the foreign, uh, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs, said he has used no tack in his speech. Some would, the colloquial term would say, no Vaseline. He is raw, tactless, and for a post that, is, that used the word diplomacy, not only does he not use any form of diplomacy, but sometimes in the, in the common language, he uses no sense, no common sense. And that sounds bad, but that is how he makes us feel as right-minded thinking Belizeans. And to have the Prime Minister to endorse this minister is even further ridiculous. Because we have to hold the Prime Minister at task. Because the Prime Minister is the head of this country. And if you are going to say that you're the head, then those that you put around you represents who you are. The Prime Minister said in his last press conference he will not allow us in the media to dupe on the head of his minister. But then he has allowed the minister to dupe on his head and the head of this